hello my loves it is storming outside again you can always kind of like look at here in the background especially if you're a headphones user hopefully it's relaxing rather than annoying but anyways I just wanted to do my makeup today I just felt like putting on some makeup and chatting with you guys so I thought we could do some would you rathers as well throughout this video because I did some on my Instagram stories this morning so as we go I'm gonna pop them up I will pop the list of would you rathers down below in the down bar if you want to like copy and paste and like put your own answers in really curious to see your guys answers let's just jump in I feel like just doing something kind of smoky and pretty like a glam makeover today because I just feel a bit dull I just want to get some full coverage on my skin this is actually just a lot of like scarring right now my skin's like clearing up pretty good in terms of like gunk sorry that's so gross it's just like yeah scarring it's all clean my hands are all clean so I'm just gonna pop on some primer first of all and I will use this one though this is the Jouer anti-blemish matte primer it's got salicylic acid in it so really good just to help prevent further breakouts I'm just gonna put that all over I actually really like this primer it's really nice I've been using it for ages I wonder if you can still get it because this is actually pretty old I got a new plant in the background too I'm gonna repot it into like a nice white pot or something like that just to go with my background but isn't it cute I mean it's out of focus but <laughs> I'm gonna do my eye makeup first today so first I'm just gonna like carve out my eyebrow a little bit and like conceal my eyelids just as a base and I'm gonna use my P. Louise base this is in the shade 2 got a discount code for this in the down bar so when it comes to nail art this is the first would you rather do you prefer to have really classic kind of neutral nails or do you prefer something colorful with like a bit of nail art I honestly feel like I'm a little bit of both but if I had to only pick one for the rest of my life I think I would still do just like soft pink or something like something quite plain and neutral and by the way guys at the very end of this video I'll show you what everyone asked for over on Instagram and you can see if your opinion is more popular or if your opinion is more unpopular I feel like most of my opinions are more unpopular so I'm just petting this out what have you guys been up to on the weekends lately I feel like my weekends are so like chill lately and I don't know if it's because of like everything that happened with COVID or if it's just me getting older but I just love doing like nothing <laughs> like going out for a nice lunch with Hamish and a friend and then just chilling playing video games like going on TikTok just like totally relaxing I don't know I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit with my sponge. I feel like I put on it a little bit too much. This base just completely like blanks out all my veins, which I absolutely love. Next time I'm just gonna take like a neutral, slightly kind of like yellowy undertone brown. This is from my upcoming palette and this is a really old blender brush with my old logo on it that I stole off my cousin when she came over to New Zealand and she left this here. So I've claimed it. <laughs> I don't know why because I don't need this brush, but hey, this palette is literally on its way. Everything's so slow. I feel so guilty because I get so excited. I want to tell you guys about the palette and then I start sneak peeking it and hinting it because I'm just so selfish and cannot wait. But COVID has slowed down everything. Everything, everything, everything. And when I think it's almost here, it's not. And then... Ugh. I just feel guilty, I'm sorry. Next, would you rather, what kind of home decor, decor, decor? How do you say it? Home decor, home, home decor. What kind of like styling in your home would you prefer? I'll pop up the picture. Do you prefer like the kind of rustic vibes, like real warm and homely, lots of plants and things like that? Or do you prefer the more fresh vibe, which is almost like, a little bit beachy? I feel like I prefer the bottom one, but I do love plants as well. But I do prefer like that really light, bright kind of look. I love like the dark aluminium windows. I don't know, I'm just drawn to that kind of style. Like almost Scandinavian-ish, like a little bit industrial. I'm taking a mustard color now. Applying that on the inner part of my crease. So we've got something like this. I'm gonna cut my crease now. Actually no, first I'm gonna just add some more definition to the outer corner. While we're talking about our eye makeup, what do you prefer? Do you prefer something graphic and more colorful? Or do you prefer something smoky and neutral and like sexy like do you prefer the sexier vibes or the more like fun arty kind of vibes i'm just blending that through the very deepest part of my crease as well all of these colors are from my upcoming palette i just don't want to show you the actual palette yet because i want to keep it a surprise but at least you can see some of these colors this is a slim crease brush what do i prefer with makeup i'd say probably still like smoky and like you know neutral vibes even though i love playing with colorful makeup and love playing with 
with artistic makeup that's more like YouTube like in my real life actually in my real life I go quite like neutral but light on the eye makeup I don't often do like real dark smoky eyes like this unless it's for like a special event or something but I've definitely been embracing more of like a natural look in my day-to-day -day life when it comes to my makeup I'm gonna sharpen up the outer corner of my eye with concealer in a little bit so I'm not too worried about how it looks at the very edges right now taking more of my base with lips at the moment which trend do you prefer because I feel like matte lips are kind of like not really in at the moment they are good for like long wear but like other than that I feel like the main trends are blotted lips or like glossy lips which one's your favorite I am all about the gloss right now we're gonna do a super glossy look today I think I'm just going like above my natural crease just to lift the eye a little bit so you can actually see the color that I put down I'm taking a dense shadow brush in this next color look at this I'm gonna swatch on my finger <gasps> it is the most beautiful like kind of rose goldy slash tan neutral kind of color like warmish but like wow you can use it like on the lid and a corner brow bone like so many different ways and I'm gonna press it over this base today just using this brush you can use it wet as well but today I'm just using it dry and this is so pretty it's just like a classic glamorous kind of cut crease of that but I'm gonna switch it up and use some other liquid eyeshadows on top as well just to make it super fun today not like I need to I just want to you know I'm going back in with some of those other colors to just blend these two colors together I'm gonna go in with bamboo hoops I've used this on my channel before but this is the Huda Beauty liquid eyeshadow so I just feel like it's kind of one of the closer color matches and I'm gonna just kind of carve out that cut crease again and make it like quite full on. I'm not covering like everything I'm just adding a little bit. Sometimes I love just filming real chill of makeup tutorials like this like just no theme just whatever just chat to you guys chuck on some pretty stuff just such pretty neutrals that aren't like I don't know too warm too cool just right in the middle somewhere and there is some pops of color in this palette as well. Think of it like the heaps of sweets palette like those vibes except it's a different color theme and let me know down below if you think you know what kind of color theme it is. I'm just cleaning up this outer edge a little bit using some <laughs> this is actually toner by Pixi. It's the um, glow tonic. It's got a bit of like glycolic acid in it so it's like a chemical exfoliant kind of vibe but you know usually you'd use it all over but I find it's good just to clean up my makeup as well. I don't think you're supposed to use it like that. So if I go straight in with my concealer sometimes it can look muddy if you don't like just wipe off a little bit of product first. I'm just gonna take another eyeshadow from this palette and just apply a little bit on my brow bone. I think I'll use a little bit of like gel eyeliner today. This is called Overboard by Colourpop. I'm just gonna do like a little wing. Next, would you rather, would you rather only get eyelash extensions or only get your eyebrows like tinted, waxed and laminated? Like which vibe would you choose out of the two if you could only pick one? I would be a brows all day. I mean, I love falsies so I'm happy just to stick with falsies. And my eyes get quite irritated by eyelash extensions to be honest. To be fair, like every time I see someone with eyelash extensions extensions but I'm like oh my god I want them because they look so beautiful but they're just not really for me I used to get them done years ago like literally listen to the wind it's so loud there's no way you can't hear that it's like rattling so that's how the eyeliner looks a really pretty color this is a very good like fall look for you guys in fall maybe I can call this look that fall makeup I mean you guys can't get this palette right now but I'm sure you can find similar colors you know? I just really wanted to play with this palette today because I'm obsessed with it and it's been so long since I've created these colors literally since before the Heaps of Sweets palette once again. We've been working on like the packaging like this year and then like yeah everything was so slow. I'm pretty sure we were like working on the packaging last year too. I don't know I have to check but all I'm saying right now is I'm just like impatient and I just want to use this palette because I'm obsessed with it. Then if I use it I feel like slightly bad so hopefully you guys don't hate me right now. Just make a mental note to come back to this look <laughs> When the palettes are launched if you want to copy it. I actually have like a lash graveyard that I'm going to be going through today. Like look at this. I need to like find a pair because I keep using like new pairs of lashes because I've just launched heaps of new ones on Exo Beauty but I'm kind of like Shannon stop like reuse what you've done or what you've used. Re reuse the ones you've used. Yeah you know what I mean. I'm going to use the mascara that once again I really need to throw away because it's like empty. This is the one deluxe volume. I've used it so much. I should actually not be doing this yet because I usually do my mascara after I finish my base because that way 
away. I don't get like loose powder or anything stuck in my mascara though. Let's just do like this top lash now because I've like already freaking committed. But yeah, this mascara is amazing. I'm like on autopilot. I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing right now. But this next, would you rather, you know, it's on the screen, but which outfit would you prefer? And this one was really hard for me because I feel like I actually prefer the top outfit. Like if I look at it, I'm like, wow, that's a dope outfit. But I would never wear it. Like I feel like I would wear the bottom outfit more likely. Although I'm not too sure about like the pattern on the shawl thing, like the little over thing. I don't know if I'd wear either, but I feel like if I had to choose one, I'm more drawn to the top one. What about you? Or do you just like love them both? Or do you just hate them both? Keeps people were in my DMs saying they loved both. All right, so I'm just gonna do one nice even coat. We're gonna chuck on falsies anyway. Yeah, this is going a little bit clumpy. I'm gonna chuck this in my container for my empties. This look is really pretty. This would be a really nice like prom makeup look. I feel like you can't really, you know, see the full effect right now because my skin looks bare. So let's chuck on some foundation. I'm gonna use that one I used the other day, but I'm gonna go on with the lighter color this time. So it's the Conceal and Hydrate. I'll link the video where I tried this for the first time down below. So the last time I used F10, this is F5. I'll see if I need to mix them or anything, but let's just give it a go. I feel like that's quite good. It does dry a little bit darker, like a little bit more orangey. It still looks fine, but I think once it dries, it should match is what I'm trying to say here. Like, look how flawless this is straight away. So good. And it did last really well, by the way. And this is an angled face brush. Yeah, this one's definitely a little bit too pink for me, though, regardless, like, compared to the fake tan color. But we're gonna make it work. What kind of aesthetic vibes do you like? Okay, this is not gonna make sense to a lot of people, but, I mean, if you had to choose one of the pictures, like, for example, right now, I'm obsessed with, like, early 2000s aesthetic. That's why I redid my logo, uh, not logo, I redid my intro. It's like, like Loki, like 2000s MySpace vibes, like that's what I was going for. Um, I love like any like pixel kind of vibes, like pixel art. I love butterflies, I love the pink, I love the glitter, I love the jelly look, tacky nails, like just all of it. Like that's just what I love. There's heaps of filters on Instagram I love to use that are like butterfly vibes. Or do you prefer like the more like travel, like wanderlust kind of aesthetic? I also love that, but you know me. Like I'm way more about like the Paris Hilton tacky, like the simple life vibes. Oh. I live for it. This foundation just goes on so smooth, you guys. It's like unreal. Revolution is such good base product. Some of them can look a bit cakey, but if you apply it right, it's all G. I love how the packaging has a pump too, and you get 30 mil, I think. I'm sure I checked. Oh no. <gasps> you actually get way less. 23 mil! Oh my god, I definitely didn't check that. I thought I did. Revolution is cheap AF, so still worth it. This might be my new favorite foundation by them. Like, I think I might like it more than that other one that was like the dupe for the Clinique one. I want to go like buy a couple more shades that are a little bit more golden undertone to match my fake tan. Once we powder, it'll be fine. I want to try a little bit of a different technique with my concealer today. Where is my concealer? This is the Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer. 16 hour wear by Revolution and it's in the shade C1. That was satisfying. So instead of applying the concealer like right up under your eyes, you like dot it like underneath where you want to do it. I saw this on someone's TikTok. I wish I saved it. It was just like a random person on TikTok. And she was like, if you've got under eye wrinkles and you're like following 20 year old YouTubers, don't do it like them, blah, blah, blah. And she said, apply it low and then bring it upwards because it won't like settle into the creases immediately. And like, it makes you use less product. This is a very brightening under eye concealer, clearly. But yeah, I really have noticed lately my under eye circles are not, I mean, not regular like circles, wrinkles. My under eye wrinkles are like having the time of their lives while I am not. Um, so try not to use too much product and then just going in with it a little bit more if I need it. So I'm just going to add like another touch of it and blend it upward. All right, now under my eyes, I'm going to set. I'm going to use my Revolution Loose Setting Powder in Light Pink. I'm going to press a light layer of that with my sponge underneath. I'm also just going to put it where else like I want my face to remain quite bright, so kind of like the T-zone, I guess. And then to make my skin look super gold, I'm gonna use the tiniest amount of Gobi Wonder Powder. This is more of like a shimmery, highlighting, bronzing kind of product, but in the form of like a setting powder, see how it's super golden and it's like too dark for me. So this could be bad, but I'm gonna just start by applying it to where like the higher points of my face are, where I would naturally get bronze, and then just kind of like blend that out as I go, applying it like around my jaw and then bringing it like up, if that makes sense. Like applying it directly where I want it to be the darkest and then blending it flawlessly. Oh, it looks so good. Honestly, this powder makes me look like a supermodel, like supermodel skin, like so pretty. Oh my God. <sighs> 
Can you see this? I hope it looks as good on camera as it does in real life. Like honestly, it looks so good. This powder is like incredible. Buffing it in real well. And then I'm gonna like buff out that other powder we used. Oh my God. Honestly, velvet. It makes your skin look velvet. It's got this beautiful glow to it. You see the difference between both sides of my face? Like this side's set. This side I haven't added the winter powder to yet. It just looks so much smoother. I don't know. It's just magic. We'll link it below, but I don't know if it's like easy to go worldwide. I've got an online shop. I don't know. Just check it out. I got mine in Australia years ago. This is like definitely expired, but it still works really well. I feel like I need to like brush it all over my like chest area now to make a match bit of it. Whatever. But contouring, blushing, and bronzing, I'm going to use one of my favorites right now. The Nabla little one. So we're going to use Gotham to contour. We're going to use Saint Tropez to bronze. And then for blush, we'll pick soon. So I've got a domed contour brush with Gotham. I'm just going to intensify my cheek bone because we're doing it glam today so i want to look nice and chiseled and then centro pay i'm going to apply just above where i've contoured kind of on the high points again on my face i don't need too much bronzer since like i just put basically bronzer all over my face anyway i'm gonna go across my nose as well as always it's my favorite okay would you rather like if you had to pick one holiday do you prefer halloween or do you prefer valentine's i prefer valentine's and i don't even really do anything on valentine's but I love Halloween in terms of like YouTube. I love Halloween YouTube, but that's it. Like I don't really do like, you know, we don't do trick or treating. I don't dress up on Halloween unless it's for like a dress up party going clubbing and stuff. But even then that's what I used to do when I was younger. Like I don't even go clubbing anymore really, unless I'm like in a different country or like Auckland or something. Like I do not go clubbing in Palmerston North, never. I need some eyebrows real bad. Wow. So before I put in any product, I'm brushing them into place. It makes them easier to fill in. Like look at that difference straight away. And then when you use a product I used the other night, I caught up with some friends. We just like played some video games and stuff. It's the stuff I've used it in videos before, but not many, but whatever, I like it. Urban the inked brow this is in the shade neutral nana and it comes with a little applicator but i love just putting it on my own little brush because then i can make sure i'm not using way too much and it's kind of buildable it's like a brow gel like that you would you know comb through except it's in like a little applicator like this so you can paint it on but it's important before you use it to brush your hairs into place first because it just helps it go on nicer and, like it kind of does stick down your hairs a little bit yeah, I just really like it because it's quite natural on me. I don't know, it looks like very, I don't know, just polished. It doesn't look intense. And it keeps your eyebrows quite like fluffy. I like to brush it as I go. Like, look how stunning that is. I honestly need to use it way more often. Do you love how I've like gotten so much more diverse with my brow products? Oh my god, look, there you go. There's the plant because it doesn't want to focus on my freaking face. But yeah, I like use the exact same thing for ages and now I'm like constantly using different ones. I've got so many favorites, it's a problem. But hey, at least it keeps it interesting, I guess. What's your favorite brow product? guys do you have a favorite or do you just use whatever hopefully you should doesn't copyright me for this background music i'm listening to right now or maybe you can't even hear it but i kind of want you to hear it because it's great music next would you rather would you rather have pizza on the beach for like a little date watching the waves watching the sunset or whatever or would you rather have a picnic in the park surrounded by trees and nature see i don't know like i reckon pizza on the beach as long as it's a nice day and not too windy because i feel like otherwise you just get mouthfuls of sand and sand is never fun but i just love the beach so much i'm such a water person like i just love being in and around the water oh my gosh i love my makeup today it's so pretty i've got under eye bags though under eye wrinkles it's just like the shape of my eyes like i smile and it's like well ah, where'd those come from let's do blush quickly i'm gonna use this one if i can ooh, pull it out it's called Cor coralia i can never say it ever nice pearly pinky color i'm just gonna keep that near the back of my cheekbone and then for highlighter i can't tell you this either but we're gonna chuck on some highlighter i mean hopefully this particular item will be ready by the time I get married, that would be nice because, I mean, I'll wear it on my wedding day regardless, but I am creating something fun and I've been creating it for a long time and the samples have just been completed. So, oh, I'm so excited. It's just all like production and shipping time, you know, you feel. I've already complained about it once. We don't need to do this again. On all the high points in my face. I'm using my tulip brush. What's it called? Small shimmer tulip. Oh my god, I can't even remember my own brush names. I'm just gonna run a little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel through my eyebrows, even though the Urban Decay product works really well. This is just to define a little bit more because it's quite a dark color. It's an espresso. So yeah, it just gives me like hairier looking brows 
eyebrows, which I love. I love like a lot of texture in my eyebrows. Would you rather travel through Asia or travel through Europe? I've done a bit of both. At this stage, like, I'd probably rather do Europe only because there's so many places I haven't been that I would die to go to, like Greece. I'd also like to go to kind of like areas around Europe, like Morocco and stuff like that as well. But then I also really, really, really want to go back to Korea one day because I haven't been since I was a kid. I love Asia though. Like I love Japan. I love Thailand. Love Korea. Like oh, it's real hard. What would you prefer? Like where would you go if you had to travel like one of those continents? Under my eyes, I'm just going to do a really soft brown. That first one that we put in our crease. I feel like I need a little bit of a shadow under there to cover up my wrinkles. So for the lashes, I'm going to reuse Troublemaker. This is how Troublemaker look. They are faux mink and they have like clusters crisscrosses. They're really fluttery, long, voluminous and beautiful. So let's do a before and after. Here is the before and here's the after. They're still drying a little bit. Still sticking down but oh, I love these so much. They're is so glamorous and I just feel like they suit the look perfect. All right, what have we got left to do? A bit of setting spray, a bit of lip action. Would you rather though? Cats or dogs? I know it's really hard. Obviously I'm gonna say dogs, but I love cats. I've had cats my whole life up until when I moved out of home. I never got a cat because we already had Zeus. So I never got a cat, but I would definitely get a cat in the future. I just feel like my dogs are my life. I love my dogs. And I love how like dedicated dogs are to you. But I do like cats when they're a bit more independent as well. But I've also had a few asshole cats. You know, I feel like they've got attitudes sometimes. I'm gonna go in with Mac Oak lip pencil. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Would you rather work out at the gym or go to a Pilates like group class? Group classes give me the shits. I hate working out in a group of people. That's why it took me so long to get a personal trainer because I just don't like working out in front of like people like watching but now I love my personal trainer yes I'm just not a group fitness person I always wanted to do f45 I always wanted to do crossfit like all these like things but it gives me anxiety don't know why is it that sometimes mac lip pencils just like don't apply proper I don't know all right next up on theme for me which wedding dress would you pick on out of blah, 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 out of the ones on the screen oh my god like I love both I can't choose something more simple and flowy would you prefer like lace embellishments I don't know glitter sequins would you do plain or would you do extra plain's the wrong word like you know simple elegant and then for the lip gloss we're gonna use this hi-fi shine by urban decay and midnight cowgirl okay next up is pizza or ice cream what would you choose I'd go pizza all the way I'm all about pizza life I do love ice cream but I don't eat sweets that often is this gonna even look good I don't know and then the last would you rather would you rather go to like an EDM festival music festival or would you rather go to a concert, like a pop or rock concert? I'm all about the festival life. You guys already know that though. And I feel like that's such an unpopular opinion. I feel like most of you guys are gonna say you'd rather go to a concert. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm gonna add some of this Millie lip gloss by Ofra as well, just cause it's like extra shiny and like glittery. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna use some of my Dewy Set setting spray, the Mango Scent by Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna be right back. I think I'm just gonna do like a soft wave vibe. Sometimes I love how my hair looks wet, but how do you keep this look without like it going frizzy? That's what I wanna know. Does anyone have any like tutorials I should watch? Okay, BRB. All right, so I did my hair. I used my GHD today and it did some nice soft waves. This one needs a little touch up. I missed a spot. I love like the curly front sections. Like I curl real close in the front, like real you know, start curling real quick. And then at the back, I do like more the mid lengths and ends. So it's like curlier at the front and then longer. I don't know if that makes any sense. So yeah, that is the final look. Definitely a lot glam than what we started with. I'm obsessed with this eye makeup. I will be wearing this look again. You can guarantee it. I love the colors. And the little like pop of like the copper eyeliner just really complements the other nude tones because it's a little bit like warmer. Just adds a little bit of variation. My lashes and stuff in the inner corner is it? What's well, new? I swear I don't even notice these days. Like I'm just like, yeah, that's on. No, it's not on. <laughs> I feel like I still needed more concealer under my eyes but we'll let it slide this once. All right, now let's go through the poll answers. Let's see if you guys had more popular or unpopular. So with the nails, neutral one slightly, but it was fairly even to be honest. For the furniture look, once again, it was quite even, but most of you guys did agree with me. Now the next one for eye makeup, smoky one by a landslide, like a landslide. And most people did agree with me as well with uh, brow shape and tint 
the outfits were also very very close but most people did say the outfit with the like shawl thing what do you call that now I had a very unpopular opinion when it came to the butterfly aesthetic most people do prefer a travel aesthetic however when it comes to date night with your friends or your boyfriend or girlfriend pizza on the beach won substantially and this was surprising too Europe won substantially as well lots of people want to travel to Europe and then for pets a lot of people are on team pups here's Zeus right on time barking away in the background the cat in that photo is so cute though and then when it comes to working out most people also agree with, maybe I'm not so unpopular people do agree when it comes to working out gyms are where it's at the wedding dress is very very even as well I wonder how many people were like me and couldn't choose either or if people were just straight up like ugh. I hate lace or ugh, I need something. Like, you know, I feel like heaps of people don't like just plain white wedding dresses. Pizza or ice cream? Pizza won. I was surprised at that. I thought ice cream would win. And then unsurprisingly, three quarters of people prefer concerts compared to EDM festivals. So where are my EDM babes at? Comment below. Morrowland, EDC, Lost Lands. Like what else is, ugh, I just love them all. I've got tickets to Tomorrowland. So fingers crossed we can travel next year. I doubt it though. I'm not getting my hopes up. It was canceled this year. That's why I've already got tickets for next year <sighs> it's sad thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the banter for something a little bit different if you enjoyed the makeup look don't forget to thumbs up and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye <laughs>